I'm Bruce Wilson, a chemist at Carolina Biological Supply Company. Today, I'll be performing three demonstrations from Carolina's Finding the Elements Chemistry Kit. Typically, all matter we encounter in our everyday lives exists as a compound or chemical combination of multiple elements. Elements found naturally include the noble gases and the precious metals silver, gold, and platinum. In air, we find oxygen and nitrogen as molecules combining two atoms of each element. Every other element is found in a compound. In these demonstrations, we'll see how several of these elements can be isolated from their compounds. The first element that we will isolate is the metal copper. Copper is typically found as the coating on pennies and as the wire in many electrical applications. To isolate copper, start with a solution of 20% cupric sulfate in a small beaker or test tube. Polish an iron nail with an emery board or sandpaper to remove any rust, producing a shiny gray surface. Place the nail in the cupric sulfate solution. The nail will very quickly become coated with a layer of pure copper atoms. As we can observe, copper is a brown colored metal. The second element we will isolate is sulfur. Sulfur is commonly used in fertilizers, gunpowder, and matches. This demonstration, along with the final one, will be performed in a fume hood. To isolate sulfur, begin with anhydrous sodium thiosulfate. Place 25 grams of sodium thiosulfate in a 400 milliliter beaker. Add 100 milliliters of 0.5 molar sulfuric acid and stir the mixture with a glass stirring rod. The solution will become a milky white suspension, which over time reveals a yellow powder, elemental sulfur. Let the suspension settle out and then decant the solution. Or, filter the solution to isolate sulfur, which is a yellow, powdery non-metal. The final element we will isolate is carbon. Carbon is an element found in all of our dietary energy sources. You may also know it as charcoal, diamond, or graphite. In this demonstration, we will extract the carbon from the carbohydrate potato starch. Place 20 grams of potato starch in a 150 milliliter beaker. Measure 25 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid in a graduated cylinder and add the full amount to the beaker. Stir the mixture briefly with a glass stirring rod. As you can see, the mixture initially turns yellow, then black, producing bubbles and then a pillar of black carbon. The bubbles produced are carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide. After the reaction has gone to completion, neutralize any remaining acid by placing the carbon in a large beaker and adding sodium hydrogen carbonate, baking soda, and water until the column stops bubbling or until the pH is neutral. The carbon is then safe to handle. As we can observe, carbon as an element is a brittle, black, non-metal. So now you've learned how to isolate the elements copper, sulfur, and carbon from their compounds. Everything you need to do these demonstrations is available in Carolina's Finding the Elements Chemistry Kit. Visit us at carolinachemistry.com to see our complete line of products and kits for chemistry.